Hello and welcome, I'm Cuddly J, and today I'll be showing you a dual sword budget friendly PvE build. So let's get straight into this, shall we? So we're gonna start off with the dual swords. So the first ability you want is Heroic Cleave. The second you want is Splitting Slash, which by the way, I love using this, it looks really cool, feels good. And then this one also feels fantastic, the Spinning Blades. Your passive will be Weakening Debuff, every normal attack decreases the damage the target enemy deals by 2% for 2 seconds, and this stacks up to 5 times. Your next one will be the Scholar Cowl. So for the Scholar Cowl, you'll be using the Energy Shield. The main reason you'll be using this is so you can pop this, you'll get auto-attacked and all, and you'll restore all of your energy back. This build uses a lot of energy in a very small amount of time, so using a Scholar Cowl will counter that um, hugely. Next one you want is... Oh yeah, did I go over the passive? Uh, passive was this one. Concentration. Reduce your cast times. So yeah, now Mercenary Jacket. So you want to go with Bloodlust, so we can actually get some restoring of the health. You'll go with Balanced Mine as the passive. And what you want to do is actually do this. You want to slam down with your spinning blades. Then you want to pop your Bloodlust, because right now, your um, attack speed will be increased by 50%, as you can see. Wait, is it 50? Was it hitting at least one enemy will increase your attack speed by 50%, and physical normal attack damage by 100% for 3 seconds. So yeah, you pop this. Boom! Then you pop your Bloodlust, and yeah, you'll get a lot more health back that way. Next, you want your Hunter Shoes. You'll be using Refreshing Sprint. Uh, the move speed is just there. The 80% move speed is, you know, if you're in danger, pop this, get the hell out of there, you know what I mean. And then the main reason you're using this, though, is for the cooldown rate by 33%. Alright, so yeah, pop this all the time, as much as you, put, you know, can. And you'll go with Balance Mine for the passive. And then finally, for the cape. So, I personally just went with the Limehurst cape, because as I said, this build uses a lot of energy. I'm spamming all of these abilities, and I find that the cowl isn't just enough, so to counter that, I went with the Limehurst cape. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the build as well. Give it a shot, let me know what you think of it, maybe you know some ways to improve it. Just remember though, it is a budget build, it's just for, you know, beginners usually. And uh, overall, I had fun making this video. If you did like it, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that lovely doubly stuff. Alright, bye bye!